Hi, I'm Brittany from AJ and Smart, and today I'm going to tell you all about how to do the long-term goal and sprint questions from the sprint book. For both of these exercises, we're actually going to use a very popular process called the note and vote. And that's when you sort of let everyone put all of their ideas onto little post-its and then everyone votes on them. It cuts down all the discussion. Usually when we're you know, coming up with the long-term goal, we would actually, in the sprint book, it talks about like sitting around in a circle, or in a circle, sitting around at a table, all discussing what the goal should be, writing it down, erasing it, right? And we found that this just took way too long. And we got the same effect, the same results, when we actually just left it to a note and vote. Um, and the same thing goes for the sprint questions. So now I'm gonna break it down for you. So the first thing you're gonna do is the long-term goal. Now the way you need to think about this is you're looking into the future of your company or your service or your app or whatever challenge you're working on and you're thinking about in two years time if everything worked out absolutely perfectly what would the case be best case scenario so the first thing you're gonna do is give everyone on the team a rectangular block of post-its like this one now everybody will sit down with this and in silence you'll give everyone about up to five minutes really it shouldn't take long longer than five minutes you're gonna get everyone to write down what they think the goal should be. So the best way to start this exercise is to get everyone to write in two years time at the top of their post-it block. Really try to get everybody to stick to writing down just one goal unless they really can't and they really want to do two, that's also fine. Uh, so at the end of that exercise, you're going to get everyone to put their post-it on the wall. As they do this one by one, you'll get the team member to read aloud what their goal is. And everyone will have a good idea, a good sense of what the team is thinking for this two-year goal. So now that you have all of the long-term goals up on the wall, you're gonna get everyone to vote. In this exercise, what we usually do is we give everyone on the team one voting dot. And what we do is we let the decider actually stay out of this voting round. And they'll be used to decide the final goal afterwards. And everybody else is going to think really hard on what they think the perfect long-term goal for their sprint would be. Now, once everyone's voted, you're going to kind of see some, usually some votes cluster together. So you can kind of see where the team is leaning towards, what they think is the right goal to work towards. And you're going to tell the decider that they can now use that information that they've now received from the team to decide on what they think the long-term goal should be. They can use the information, they can completely ignore the votes, it's completely up to them. It's definitely not completely a democratic process, but this is really helpful for us to keep moving through the sprint process as fast as possible. Now that you've decided on your sprint goal, you're going to move towards your sprint questions. So now we're going to shift from a really optimistic outlook to a very pessimistic outlook. It's a bit sad. So what we're going to do is get all the team to now think about all the things that could go wrong. So we're looking at our two-year goal that, we've, that the decider has decided on, and we're gonna say, okay, what could stop us from getting there? What are the things that could really be like huge hurdles, huge challenges that would like really impact us reaching this goal? So everybody sits down. You're gonna again give everyone a rectangular post-it block. This time you're gonna ask the team to come up with maybe two sprint questions, three at the very, very most. Um, and you're gonna get everyone to start their sprint questions with, can we? So, can we will be in the top left-hand corner of your post-it note. You're gonna get everyone to write down what the biggest challenges are going to be in trying to reach our long-term goal. Now we're gonna do exactly the same thing that we did with the long-term goals with the sprint questions. So get the team to stand up and put all of their sprint questions on the wall. Get them to do this one by one, reading each question aloud. Now that you have all the sprint questions on the wall, you're gonna do that trusty voting process again. Gosh, we love to vote. Give everyone a few more dots this time. So for the goal, we actually gave only one dot to everyone, but for the sprint questions, we're gonna give everyone about three dots. So they can pick what they think the top three sprint questions are that we should focus on as challenges for the sprint goal. So give everyone five to seven minutes for that. It shouldn't take too much longer. Then after that, uh, you're gonna have the decider actually come into play here. So the decider did vote in the first round, but now they're kind of gonna, gonna put a little more emphasis on one of the sprint questions. And what you're gonna do here is ask the decider to choose 
one sprint question that is gonna be our like ultimate sprint question. So that's the one that we're gonna focus on the most. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna write down your long-term goal on a whiteboard or on a piece of magic paper and your sprint questions, your top three with the most important sprint question as the first one you write down. So important to keep these things on the wall, keep them visual for people because throughout the entire sprint, you're gonna be sort of always looking back at the sprint goal, always looking back at the sprint questions when you're coming up with ideas, when you're coming up with lightning demos. It's really important to kind of like build this, uh, this room that's covered with all of our artifacts from all of our exercises. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions about the long-term goal or sprint questions, pop them down below in the comments. Um, also, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well and uh, give this video a like if you found it helpful. That'd be good. Uh, thank you very much. And till next time, sprint, keep on sprinting on.